This time of the year is what many churches call stewardship season. I've never liked that title very much. It feels obligatory and almost leads to a feeling of guilt around how much we give to the church, or if we're not in a position to do that, we feel less than. And really, it's not about that at all. Stewardship is about being thankful for what we have, for all that we are. And in this case, for all that we are as a faith community. Some churches <laughs> see how much money they, they get in through pledges by their people, from their people, and then they build their program um, based on that. So it's like the money comes in, and then they look at their mission. South has never done that, at, at least not for the years that I've been around. Instead, we pay attention kind of to what God is calling us to do, and then we go about trying to get the money to support those things. Mission before money, not money before mission. So this week I invite you to make a list, either on paper or a mental list, or if you're tech savvy, to note it on your phone somewhere or your iPad. And hopefully you're better at remembering those mental lists than I am. I have to write everything down now. But a list of what you want our church to be and to offer. I don't know that we're going to get away from this electronic format for quite some time, maybe even another year, according to some of the doctors. On the other hand, maybe we'll be surprised and we'll be able to worship in person again, maybe as early as the spring. If we do worship in person, do we want these electronic formats to disappear. I've heard from some of you that you want them to continue as well because you like worshiping 24 seven, being able to come back and hear things a second or a third time. If you wake up in the middle of the night, you know that your faith community is present with you and, and praying with you through the power of the Holy Spirit to unite us across technology. This week, I invite you to make that mental list and to think about, are there current acts of faith that you want to have continue? If you don't live in Rochester, but you love this idea of small groups being an act of faith around some spiritual need that's happening there, whether it's to worship or to study or to reach out or to help others or to make dinners for the homeless, whatever it is that might become an act of faith, in your region of the country, let's start them. Why not? Are there current acts of faith that you want to have continue? Are there new ones that you would like to create? Are there current offerings or affiliations that are important to you? And I'm going to ask you to send them to me any way that you can, just so that I can share with other people what some of you are thinking, either by email, and you can reach me through the contact link at our website, which is on the end slide, or by US mail. And that address is also on the end slide of this video. I'm serious about this. What do you want this ministry to be? What do you want South Church to be? in 2021. Worship, Bible study, hymn sing. I know it's a little tricky because we're still in the COVID shutdown, but I really think that we're going to be here at least through June of next year, maybe through the summer. So put it all on paper, what you would like us to be if we are a virtual community only, what you could see us being if we were a virtual and in-person community. So this year, we are focusing on having a gratitude moment in worship for the next few weeks, instead of just hitting you up for money. We want you to think about what you are grateful for in our faith community, okay? That's the first step. And then as we move along, there will ultimately be 
a pledge card or a pledge form online for you to fill out so that we can do our planning and also so that we know here are the things that you want and here's how much money we have pledged to do it. What's the difference there? Do we need to go out and try to find additional money? Mission before money. Okay. Thanks everybody. Start your list.